So in this video, we're going to concentrate on bringing uh, our step and direction pulses from our C11GS board over to each individual stepper motor drivers. So what I have done, I've took some of my six conductor uh, 18 gauge cable and I have folded back three strands of wire and then I tin the ends of three additional wires here and just made up a cable. I like to make these cables up. Uh, it does a couple of things. Uh, this is shielded cable so hopefully it will prevent any interference and it just makes for a nice clean uh, installation. So we're going to run these over from our stepper motor drivers to our C11GS board. Now on our stepper motor drivers we have our pulse positive, pulse negative, direction positive, and direction negative. And those are the four connections that we're going to be uh, working with uh, in this particular video. I've also made up three jumpers for our pulse positive and our direction positive. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to unplug my terminal here and we're going to run this top one here is our pulse positive and then I'm going to take my cable I'm going to put the jumper in there and then the blue wire and that is our pulse positive Back this off a little. Make sure I can get both of these in there. Good. Okay. Then I'll tighten that down. That is our pulse positive. And then I'm going to skip one. And I'm going to insert this jumper into the third terminal. And that is our direction positive. And then we will take and put the green wire for our second terminal here, which is our pulse negative. And then the fourth terminal is our direction negative. Now whatever colors you choose to use, uh, you just got to make sure that you get them on the same for the board and the C11GS. So we have plugged this in. Okay. Okay, so for our Z axis motor here, uh, we're going to need pins six and seven and the five volt common pin in between so our five volt is our blue wire and that's going to go to this pin right here uh, it's hard to see however i know where it is so i'm gonna okay you want to you can mark it on the inside here it'd be nice if uh, they were labeled on the inside as well as the outside but it's not a big deal uh, you're only going to do this once all right so that's our five volts and then our next wire is wire seven and seven is going to go to our direction negative which is the white wire that's right up under there and then right above the blue wire is our pulse negative and we're going to stick that into there also okay we can see we have our wires connected Y stepper 
gets connected to four, five bolts, and five. So for my next cable, I have chose to use black, blue, and red. So we'll use red for our direction. Blue is our power. Five bolts. I know I'm blocking everything for you guys to see. see. Okay. And that. Then we'll bring that up to our Y. So remember the first one is our five bolts and then we're going to need a jumper uh, let me stick that jumper in there like so put our five bolts in okay get that tightened up Okay, and then we used our red for our direction. And our black was used for our pulse or step that is going into the second pin here uh, get a shot of that okay Takes care of Y. We can tuck Y down in here. Okay. And then our next one will be our X. And X is going to be two and three. And the five bolts in between two and three. And so for that one, I chose to use blue, black, and brown. So we'll start with our uh, brown here. That goes in the next wire here. up again put our jumper in and our blue wire okay go ahead and get this one tightened up here Okay, and then we have uh, blue right here. Okay, and 
and then black is our step or pulse negative and then brown is our direction negative All right, takes care of that. And we can bring it up here. How about that? And okay, so you can see we have these connections made to our breakout board. So that wraps up our wiring for our So that takes care of our wiring for our stepper motor drivers. And next we're going to concentrate on uh, the rest of the wiring for the C11GS board. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to ask questions and leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.